This tutorial is about the strut walk. How to walk with like sass and class. This is about traveling forward, pulling the energy back, but rolling it through your hips. There's an illusion to this trick. I'm really excited to share it with you. So let's jump into our roller skates, find someplace smooth, relatively level. Oh, kick those rocks right out of the way. Outdoors quarantine style. Be healthy, boo. Here we go. You'll want to start in a staggered stance. We're not reaching so far apart that we have no balance. The feet need to be staggered. Rear axle, hips width apart to the front axle. Now, this is kind of the balance point that we're going to stay in. No roll. And if you are rolling, think of engaging and sending the energy down through either your inside edges to grab, grounding through all four points on each foot, you know, or all eight points really is what we're thinking of. From here, you're going to shift your weight over and lift the heel, setting down through the ground. Shifting your weight over, lifting the heel, setting down through the ground. And I'll just show you from another angle, you can continue to do this in place. Knees are bent, pelvis is actually engaged, tucked forward, grounded, and we're going to shift the weight into that right foot, lift the heel, set it down. Okay, don't cave your knees in, stay strong. Shift back, lift, set, down, shift, lift, set, recenter, shift, lift, set. point that we're going to stay in. My right foot is leaning so I'm going to go ahead and shift into my left foot and I'm going to lift the heel of that front foot, pulling it back and setting the hip down. No longer in my front foot, the weight is going through the heel of this back foot. That leaves this front foot free to have an illusion on the front truck. So this illusion is going to be a lift of the heel and we're gonna pull the belly button in, drawing back with this hip, pulling it back, setting it down, setting down the heel, okay? So again, weights in that foot, pulling it back, setting it down. Boom, bam, boom, bam. So if we're just doing this in place, which is the key, this is what it is, learning how to be in place. Peel back, set down, Heel back, set down. Now, if you travel a little bit, that's okay. What does this look like when we're traveling in a forward direction? That's where it starts to look really kind of trippy. What's awesome about this is it starts to look like big giant piston things on a train. It starts to kind of have that illusion, and I love it. We're gonna start with our weight loaded on our left leg. Pushing off with our right, setting it down, getting it started right away, moving back, back in the other direction, kicking off, setting it down, setting it down. You only need a little bit of momentum to really get you going on it, and then now you're traveling, and because you worked on the function in place, you're just adding that element and accepting the path that you're on. Think of your feet as two train tracks, and that hip as that that pissing, almost pulling things around, it starts to look really cool when you're traveling it forward. It's not just the feet itself that are getting the job done. This is an exchange between different balance points. So our action points being our front truck and our back truck. You know, where that weight is distributed, what foot is like anchoring us, and which one is giving us the ability to kind of play. And to have that versatility in like the lower half of your body, it requires a bend in the knee, but it also requires the hips to have a sort of correlating effect as well. And then what gives it its 
big finish or it's sell or the connection to like a movement is how the shoulders relate to the hips. You can be very stiff through the upper body and then everything below that can really struggle. So let's see what that looks like. All together it looks like It looks pretty cool. Oh,